Okay guys, uh, so today I got five watches here. I got three Seikos on the left and two Swiss watches on the right. Both Mantas, as you can see, one is on the stock bracelet and the other is on a crown and buckle chevron strap. Single pass adjustable. Amazing, amazing straps. Completely recommend them. Just super, super comfortable. Like the the Monta bracelets are so comfortable that it took me a, a long, long time to to switch this up. But I saw this on a, a Tudor Black Bay 58, and uh, here with the gilt tones, very similar. I thought it would also look stunning. So it's just a really, really nice uh, combination. So we're gonna do some loom tests. We're gonna show you some loom. Here's my uh, fourth gen monster. Okay, so 4R36 movement. It's got that kind of faux patina with the blue sunburst. This is one of my favorite watches in my collection. Next to the Montas, this is my favorite watch. It's just a beast of a watch. You guys know all about the monsters. Okay, then I got my original SKX009J on a stock Seiko bracelet. Okay, so we're also going to see about the loom, Seiko Lumibrite versus some BGW9 on the right. The BGW9 is the Swiss Super Luminova, that's on the right on the two Swiss watches, and then we have the proprietary Seiko Lumibrite on the three watches on the left. And here's the uh, Hulk KX. Okay. So you guys let me know in the comments when you see the loom what's going on. What do you like better? What do you prefer? The green? Or the blue tinge? What do you think? So we got blue Lumibrite on the 4th gen monster. Fantastic loom. You know, in the middle of the night it's still glowing. I didn't really cheat or torch these either. These are just under the lights that I'm in right now in the room. Then you got the SKX 009J. Obviously there's a certified diver so the loom pip is going to be loomed as well. If you didn't notice that. Same with on the monster. Okay, those are both certified divers. Then on the dive style watch on the Hulk KX. Obviously only 100 meters, but they still did a pretty good amount of uh, loom on the hands and the markers, the applied markers. And then here we have that nice kind of ice loom again. This is the Monta Triumph, so their field watch. And for a field watch, this is really good loom. It does last all night. It may not look, look it, like it uh, through the camera lens, but um, I'm... This is usually a watch I sleep with just because it's so light and so comfortable. The size is beautiful. Um, I wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning and this is still pretty bright. Very easy to tell the time. So the applied markers are the uh, 9, 12, and 3 o'clock. Everything else is printed and the hands are obviously got a really good strength of loom in there too. And then here you go. Here's another dive watch. So 1,000 feet, 304 meters. And again, these ones here, all the hands and markers are applied. Uh, again, if I really blast these and torch them with a, a UV torch or a flashlight, uh, they're going to, you know, be a lot brighter. But like I said, these are just under the bright lights of the uh, small kind of room that I'm in right now. I'm going to I'm gonna turn on a flashlight right here so you can guys can see. A little bit more. Obviously Seiko's loom is ridiculous. You go outside for two seconds and you can already see them start glowing. So now you can see what the Swiss brands have to offer in terms of BGW9. I only held it there for about 10 seconds while I was talking. This is not even a UV torch either. It was just a regular flash that I had lying around. So yeah. There's a quick loom shot. 
two Swiss watches on the right and three dive watches. What do you guys think though? That monster, that blue, blue Lumi Bright is amazing. I prefer the, the glow of the blue as opposed to the uh, traditional green. Okay guys, see you in the next vid. Happy New Year.